Day Offs Something that most office workers look forward to after a week-long workathon. Not everyone has the luxury or the privilege to spend the day off in their weeks. We're so used to having our day offs that we take it for granted and we usually forget what it really means for us, our bodies, and our mental state. How do you guys spend your weekend? Hello guys, what is up? Today is my day off and I have spontaneously planned a motorcycle ride with my friend. We're heading down south, Tagaytay. Initially, we planned somewhere in the north or maybe somewhere deeper down the south, but we opted not to because I still have some errands to do later. I have to get home before six and Tagaytay is the closest one we can go to without having to worry if we can get home, you know, on time or not having to worry about traffic and all that. And plus, it's the weekday, so it's not much traffic because people are at work and I'm not. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good day. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell button down below so you can get notified when I upload something or whatever. See you guys.
So guys, we're here at Tagaytay Crosswinds and it's a very secluded area and there's not much people since it's the weekday and I think everyone is at their work so we have the whole place to ourselves well not really ourselves but just a few people here people who have no work or retired or you know they don't have work today it's just very relaxing and a bit chilly and cold as well since this is a bit of a high ground compared to the city just breathtaking views uh, different from usual trees around here compared to the ones in the metro amazing And it rained. We had to go home drenched in rainwater, so I had to stop the video from recording. Yep. Let's move on to the next day. So today's the back end of my day off, and I just decided to go to hell with it and spend time with my friends, uh, play some basketball, and have night coffee with them later it's been a while since we saw each other and you now catch up with all the things that we need to catch up on you now usually when they say it's their day off they just lie down watch movies just take a rest and i think for my case during this day off i've been isolating myself too much and i feel like i haven't been catching up properly with friends given the fact that i have little to no amount of extra money to spend. It's different when you spend time like physically with them. It creates much more memories and just, you know, chatting. I'll see you guys later. Hello everybody, I'm home and I just finished bringing my friends back home and you know, that's my day off and if you're also having a hard time finding the right time to you know, spend your day off, then it's up to you, it's your decision, you can just rest, you can lay down and just do nothing to recuperate and let your body recover from all the stress and the physical uh, hardships that you went through for the whole week. But you know, I opted to meet my friends because it's not every day that you get to meet them, make memories with them. We all have 24 hours in our lives and you choose to do whatever you want. It's not bad every once in a while to boil yourself, go out, buy some clothes, go to the movies spend time with people that you haven't been spending time with. It's such a wasted opportunity to not meet people. We are humans, we need those connections, either platonically or romantically. 
depends on which kind of relationship you want. Just always choose to make yourself happy. And whatever that may be, go for it. Your off days are one way to prioritize yourself, to escape from all the stresses of this world, you know, and escape from the matrix that this world offers, you know, working, paying the bills, and stuff like that. You're worth more than just that. You can do much more. And choose that. Choose to be more. All right, that's it for today. And um, I'll see you next time. See you guys.